and we're just waiting for the go here. This is so exciting. All right, well, we're looks like we're live right here. I'm just waiting for the stream to show up. And uh, I want to welcome all you to my YouTube 30-Day Drawing Challenge. And I'm welcoming Professor Bill Reeves all the way from Naomi University in Roven, France. And Professor Bill, I wanted to thank you for inspiring this challenge um, to prove with your research paper that you're working on um, if creativity is an innate just a dna born characteristic that you have when you're born with or if you if a person can learn to develop their creativity namely through drawing and enhance their creativity and maintain their creativity or if it's a combination of both so uh thank you for uh the skype interview including me in part of your uh research project and also for the inspiration to to test it on you uh professor the the human guinea pig the the blank slate, as you say, a 40-year-old professor who uh, claims he can't draw a straight line. And I'm here to prove that you can, professor. You can draw in 30 days. So I'm all over here on Skype with the professor. And I want to see if uh, uh, the professor... There, give me a thumbs up on the screen, professor, if you... Uh, can, can you see it on live on the YouTube? Thumbs up. Ah, that sounds great. All right, well, this is day one. Here's Let's meet the professor over in France. Here he is. This is, say, every, yeah, hey. I, I, you look so cool. Oh, I, this is really fun. We have France, and uh, apparently we have, uh, let me turn my camera off I, so we can do it. Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, you ready? Do you have your sketchbook and everything ready to go? This is our first one, so it might be a little bumpy. Uh, let me... Uh, there's a way oh there's the camera knob right there okay boom all right we have full screen now all right so uh, now the goal is to get these uh, lessons to about 15 minutes for 30 days all right welcome to our youtube live channel be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you share it your, with your friends if you have fun all right so we're going to use my book you can draw in 30 days as just this, the launching point we're not going to follow the book exactly you can i'd love you guys to get the book and and have it for reference for later on but we'll use it as a loose guide because i have so many uh, so many ideas i want to share with you all right so this lesson today for lesson one for day one is called the sphere and we're gonna have some fun with this sphere so now i'm just going to use my blank piece of paper i'm going to turn my paper for this one uh probably turn it oh I'll turn it uh, portrait. This is portrait. This is landscape. Now, what I do recommend is that you guys uh, get a, a spiral bound sketchbook that you can use. I got this one, this nice hardback, okay, nice spiral bound. You can get different sizes and shapes. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I got this an example. I think I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw it in the sketchbook. I'm going to go go crazy because it's a little more difficult on the webcast, but why not? Spiral bound. And if you guys want to send me a text, I have my text box open. So if you guys want to, you can go ahead. Remember, there's a little delay. Now, uh, at the top, this will be fun. I'll do it in, the, in my little sketchbook here. Right. Professor Bill, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right. So at the top of your sketchbook, I want you to write day one. And you can you can make this more fancy later on. Right? Just, just write day one. All right. This is our 30-day drawing challenge. Our 30-day drawing challenge. Let's write this out. And then you can do day two, day three, day four, all the way up, all right? And the title of this lesson here is going to be called, and you don't have to write fancy. I'm going to get, get kind of crazy here. The Sphere, all right? Make sure I spell it right. And you just write sphere. We're going to practice the sphere. And I'm going to, uh, well, you can carry this around and add all kinds of extras later on, all kinds of details. All right, that's going to be our lesson. Day one, the sphere. Now, put the date, if you would, put the date down here in the bottom. Write the date so you know. You write your date, okay? 
because this will be posted. I'm not going to put my date here because the day one might be a month from now if you guys are watching the, the recordings or if you enjoy it. All right, so day one is fair. First, let's do a little warm-up before we get into our drawing lesson. I want to do a row. Just take your pencil. Let's loosen up your your hand. Let's just, let's just draw a row of scribbles. Just get it, your hand all warmed up and relaxed. Let's, let's get this. Just do a row, okay? And then... And then what I want to do, give me a thumbs up, Professor. You got a little row? Did you have your day one? You got your journal? Hold up your journal on Skype so I can see. Do you have a little little sketch journal there? Oh, that's cool. Okay, look at He's got his journal going. Way to go. All right there, Mr. Professor. Now, down here, I'm going to do just a row of circles. Some big, some small. Variation. Some big, 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 small, small, small. Just do a row of circles. Okay? The sphere. All right, and then later on, look at I'll take this and I'll start adding all kinds of extras to my, just to make it look cool and have fun. This will be your doodle book. This will be your jamming imagination book. Day one of the 30-day challenge. Can Professor Bill learn to draw in 3D? So here we go. We're relaxing your hand, getting it warmed up. All right, now let's let's look at our the book here. You can draw in 30 days. The premise of this is that by learning 12 important concepts of drawing, like overlapping, foreshortening, shading, size, placement, all these words that you'll learn how to draw in 3D. And so for the first one, we'll get to this later, but for the first lesson, very first lesson, we're just going to draw this one simple sphere. Okay, we're going to use shading and shadow. Very, very important, but eventually we're going to be drawing one point perspective. We're going to be drawing really cool trees. Uh, we're going to be drawing uh, some really cool looking flowers. Um, we're going to get into studying. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Cool uh, portraits. That's uh, Da Vinci. And um, oh, there's so many. Look at. And then maybe some anime faces. All right. So that's in the future. All starting from a very, very simple sphere. Now, I'm going to draw two different spheres. Actually, I'm going to put three. I'm going to put one lower in the middle, down here. We're going to put one here, one here, one here. So we're going to put three spheres. The near one down here, leave room on both sides. The near one down here is going to be a little bit larger, okay? So draw the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Be relaxed. Don't get all caught up in it at being exact and precise. Now, over here, a little higher up, I'm going to, this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And this one over here is going to be a little bit smaller. So you have three spheres, okay? Three spheres. Give me a thumbs up, Professor. Are you with me? Awesome. All right. Now, anybody out there uh, here in Vancouver, Washington, and Kazakhstan? I'm looking at the text box right now, Professor. Do you see the text over there? Uh, we have Kazakhstan on. Hello, Kazakhstan. We have uh, Vancouver. We have Moscow. That's so cool. All right. And also, you hear my dogs freaking out. Joys, the joys of my live webcast from my home studio in Houston, Texas. You could hear my uh, Scottish Terriers going crazy. All right, here's the sun source right here, right in the middle. Put, this will be our light source. All right, so now the important part of today's lesson is shading and shadow. Now, since it's a round object, we're going to be here. This will be our sun right in the middle. Now, I was telling you, Professor, during our interview last week that how... Ever since I was in second grade, I've been placing the sun to the right of all of my objects because it seems like I've been stuck in a time warp since I was in second grade. It's been 2 p.m. in my uh, in my life, <laughs> 2 p.m. in my drawings ever since I was in second grade. Well, today we're gonna I'm gonna break out of that and we're gonna put the sun and we're gonna shade these three spheres from different light sources. All right, so the sun's here, and so this is this goes along with our first with the book with the you can draw in 30 days the the shading on the side so sun's over here on the right sun's coming over here so the light's gonna hit here look at sun's up here coming down over here so the light's gonna hit here sun's above this one so the light's gonna hit right there so we know where the light's gonna hit now how can we shade these to make them look really 3d well sometimes you have to turn your paper turn and twist it's okay your paper's not anchored or glued down the sun's coming down so i'm gonna put a little shadow on the left side here watch this put a little shadow just put a little shadow right here okay a little shadow see it's all it's opposite the sun's here wherever your light source is you're gonna shade opposite so now let's jump on the other side of the sun's over here 
on this one, I'm going to put a little shadow. Look where the sun is. Sun's coming down. So I'm going to put, now you get scientific and use measurements and rulers and get the exact, but don't worry about that. Just get the idea. Just get the general idea. You know, the sun's on the left, so the shadow's going to come on the right. This is very rare for all those of you who have drawn with me before. I don't think you've ever seen me put a shadow on the right side. That's a very rare uh, situation indeed. Look at me. I'm stretching out of my comfort zone. All right, so sun's here. The shadow's on the right. Sun's over here. Shadow's on the left. And eventually what we're going to do is we'll talk about drawing positions. This is things that are going to come up in the next 30 days. The draw, we're going to use what's called the drawing compass. These are the four positions artists use most often when they're drawing characters and objects and environments. Um, these are the positions. And look, see all the shadow? See the shadow comes down and position southeast. See this shadow automatically comes down how I position southwest. So even when we're doing shadows for spheres, we're using these directions. Now this is going to be interesting. Where do you think the shadow is going to come if the sun hits right there? The shadow is going to be on the ground. Okay, so we're going to come in towards you. See this? The shadow is going to come towards you. So let's put a little shadow here. Just have some fun to start light. This is what I call starting with a whisper and then you get darker up underneath here. See that? You kind of spread the shadow out. The shadow's coming away. Sun's in front. So the shadow's coming away. And that's fine. All right. So look at we have our ball positioned in three different uh, locations. So now let's we have the shadow, shadow, shadow. These are called cast shadows. The reason I call them cast shadows is it anchors. You can even write that. You can even write, if you want to take some notes, the cast shadow is an anchor that keeps your, your ball from floating in space, okay? Now, there's different kinds of shadow. There's a hover shadow. If we were to put, now watch this. Here's, here's something if I were to do, I'll do a little side note right here. Watch this. I'm gonna draw, what if I drew a little sphere here? And what if the sun's above? So what if I did a shadow over here? Watch this. See that? And then made, made, made it bouncing. See, maybe the ball's coming down here and it hits and splashes here. And it bounces. Do a little, do a little side lesson. Look at now. This is called hover shadow. So here's a cast shadow, and we did an under shadow. We'll be doing this a lot. All right. We'll be doing that a lot during the lessons. All right. So look, this is what we do when we're learning. We kind of sometimes um, add extras, and we just take off from our lesson. We add bonus details. Now the sun's up here to the right. So take your pencil. Now I'm going to use little circles. There's many times of different shading I'm going to talk about over the course of the next 30 days. There's scrib there's a, this is a scribble shading here. You can use stippling or dot shading. That's look at just do that. That's like dot shading. You can use hat shading and then you can also use cross hat shading. Look at this. This is called cross hat shading, hat shading, dot shading. Uh, scribble. I love scribble shading. Scribble shading is really cool. See that? Now you can also use uh, blended shading, which we'll get into eventually. This is if you have a chance, get yourself a paper stomp, all right? If you're looking for what what kind of uh, equipment that you want to get for your uh, drawing uh, series for the 30 days, all right? I'm going to add a few notes up here, okay? Let's, let's add them over here on the side, little tiny notes. Uh, number one, I want you to get yourself a sketchbook, okay? Get yourself a write down sketchbook, all right? And look at, I don't have much room. This is kind of cool. This will be full. Number two, I want you to get yourself any kind of pencil. I like a mechanical pencil. I like an HB. It's a, I like the PS209 right here. And number three, this is a, a wonderful stomp. It's a blending stomp. Okay. And I always have my little brush. You don't have to have this. It's a dusting brush, but that's, it's nice to have it. A dusting brush. You can use a like a little. Uh, if you're making a portable kit, have like a little one of those makeup brushes. Make sure it's a brand new makeup brush, so it doesn't have any makeup that'll smear. Now, number four, number five is your. Uh, I always like my clicky eraser. Some kind of an eraser. I like my clicky eraser. Again, whatever you need. Put this into a little kit, a little folder, a little little box. I like this. I'm going to recommend you get a spiral bound sketchbook. Okay. All right, so we're not going to blend it with the Stompy today. I'm just going to use today, just use a light whisper shading and then get darker with your pencil. Okay, thumbs up. Do you guys like that so far? I'm looking at the comments right here. Uh, I, the, I got a text what kind of a pencil. I use a Pentel 
uh, P-E-N-T-E-L. I use a Pentel. Uh, it's called a P209. I love it. I did all my commissions with these. It's a not, it's a it's very important. It's a point, it's a 0 0.9 millimeter, and it's an HB lead. Alright. So this is the this is my pencil lead here that I use. And I, I love these. I just I just uh Oh, I have a whole collection of these. All right, so the sun's above it. And coming down here, let's shade. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe our 15 minutes are already up. I'm going to go a little extra on this one. Shade it. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I'll be back again tomorrow and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Texas time. Um, Thursday, I am traveling to, look, look what I did. See, the sun's here. I'm darkening it. It gets lighter as it comes up. Dark down here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll be at Comic Con and Comic Convention in Portland. And then the next weekend, I'll be at Comic Convention in Cleveland. So be uh, flexible with the time a little bit. Now, if you want to stay uh, up to date, now look at sun's here, sun hits here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shade opposite. We're practicing shading. Now, tonight, you can just practice fears, practice a uh, hundred of these. Okay, dark, really dark down here. It gets lighter as it comes to the surface. Look up here. See, really dark away from the light source. They get lighter and lighter. Oh, this is so cool. Let me back it up so you can see what we did. This is a really wonderful first day. And then you can decorate and add more details, doodle, spend your day on this page. Just fill up every little nook and cranny. All right, so 30 days. This is day one. I'm proud of you. Share this with your friends. Please subscribe to me on YouTube. Professor Bill is uh, helping me. Uh, focus and realize this dream. I want to have 10,000 subscribers here shortly and then hopefully we'll get just tens of thousands of artists of, of creative geniuses all drawing in 3D around the world. Love to have you share it with your friends. Now remember uh, uh, you subscribe to YouTube and please do friend me on Facebook would you? Look for the, there's, I have a couple of uh, Facebook pages. Look for the, my personal page with the three birds behind me. Make sure you send a friend request. And I'd like to, uh, to uh, uh, have, include you. And then if you do, are my friends, like Professor Bill, would you post your drawing today? Uh, and tag me and so we can have it. This is Professor Bill's 30 day drawing challenge. I'm proud of you. We'll decorate that more. And let me turn my camera on over here so I can wave goodbye to you guys. Thank you all for doing our 15-minute challenge. We'll see you tomorrow. There we go. I'll see you tomorrow on the drawing challenge. Thanks, Professor in France. And you guys have a wonderful creative day. Draw, draw, draw. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.